Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Pandemic Playground. And today I think we're gonna be building a little piston launcher or whatever you wanna call it because I am actually planning to get to the moon just using pistons. So uh, let's get started. All right, you might've noticed that I have this little block right over here. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. So basically what this block does is I actually stood in one spot, looked down to a point where I can't look down anymore and then look all the way up and yeah I can't look anymore so I'm guessing that if I was to put all my pistons on here straight up it will actually hit the moon now I don't know if that's true but that's something we're gonna have to test now if you haven't ever played around with pistons before if you connect say I think 15 or 20 pistons together and launched it at the same time you will actually travel faster than a hundred kilometers per second so i'm going to use the same theory but stick a lot more pistons uh to reach the moon so here we go yeah that didn't go well uh, i forgot to share inertia tensioner and uh i just blew everything up so now i have to redo all that and have to remember to do it every couple of hundred or 50 or 20 or something like that so that doesn't bend uh, that was a waste of time wow at this rate I think I have maybe 60 or 70 and it's looking very unstable but I am about to break the atmosphere, it seems. So I'm going to keep going at it until... Let's see what happens. Alright, if you guys are wondering why I'm not just copying and pasting, I can't use control to copy these kind of blocks because there's a gap like that. So it won't allow me to copy it. So I'm have, I have to manually click on each one and go up. And besides, going that way, I won't be able to set an inertial dampener every 10 like I am doing now. Well, technically I can, but it still didn't work anyway for the copy and paste. So I'm just manually doing this up until I get tired or bored. Oh, it's starting to get wild and out of control now. I don't know how or what. I should do to calm it down so I wonder if I was to place a block here okay and kind of because if I was to put a block here and put say ion thrusters right to kind of help with the balance let me uh, head back down to the bottom and set up a battery and a gyroscope maybe it might stabilize the higher end i'm hoping so let's put a battery and seven gyroscope i would have to put all the way up there so the gyroscope would be on this side and it should be able to stabilize everything seems pretty stable right now that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, it looks pretty stable now. I mean, it's still got a little bit of a wobble. I'm gonna at least try to break the atmosphere before I attempt to extend the pistons to see how far I actually could get because I didn't count how many uh, pistons I actually have. I just started placing them and I'm not too sure about the distance between here and the moon. Let's see how this will work because I don't even know this many pistons will allow me to even travel. Or I might just clang and this was all a waste of time. So I am going to at least try to break the atmosphere right now with all these pistons and I am trying to make sure that they all got shared inertia so this way it doesn't like bend like it was before because it was too heavy but it seems to be working pretty well right now I have maybe over definitely over 200 actually I could probably check how many I got let's 
go to control panel and let's go to pistons and and I can't count it through here but I think I could go through my admin tools um, entity list let's see large grid block count 411 so divide that by two that'll be 200 because each block has a piston head so that's considered two blocks then you have one two three four five six for the um, ion thrusters and everything so I have about 200 which means I will be able to make 2,000 uh, meters because each one travels 10 meters and I'm not too sure how far it is from planet earth to the moon but I think it's more than 2,000. I wonder if I can make a catapult like as soon as I leave the gravitational pull it'll have a merge block on a cockpit and then as soon as it reaches to high speed or the full extent of the pistons it'll launch myself. This makes me very nervous every time it wobbles like this. I got quite a distance actually like if I was to go how much more? I'm gonna fly back a little. Yeah I'm very close to breaking the atmosphere I could actually see the line. Oh, I broke atmosphere. I could tell because the gravitational pull is now under one. So let's kind of try this. What I wanted to do is put a cockpit like right here facing the moon. Okay. So far so good. And pop in here. And basically I'm facing the moon right now. Uh, let's grab all the pistons and put it into piston A. Okay, so this is like the full first section of what I'm doing. And I do want to slow down the speed. So the velocity is 0 0.5, a negative 0 0.5. So I want to do a negative 0 0.05 because they're all going to be extending at the same time. So it might be too fast and I don't want anything to clang and maximum distance of 10 meters. So if I have 200 or now um, how I, I have about 300, so that would travel 3000 meters, which still I don't think it's enough. So I'm 2,794 meters from Earth, from, from ground zero. And if I was to three times that, that would be 6,000 something meters. I don't think it's gonna hit the moon. Anyway, uh, let's go up for a test. Let's give this a try. So I'm gonna group this, grab this group, and I think it's gonna be reverse. Oh, I don't know guys. I can't even do an external view. I only could do it in the cockpit view right now. So let's give this a try. Ready? It might fail or it might be successful, but let's go. So it's extending. Travel 14, 15. This is very slow. I'm gonna retract real quick and kinda let that finish off. Change the speed because that was a little bit too slow. I thought it was gonna go faster. Okay, piston A. The speed needs to be... All right, you know what? Let's do negative 0.5, like how it was originally. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, traveling at 60, 70, 80, 90 millimeters per second, 95, 99, 100, 104, 105. It's still increasing in speed. 117, 118. Too bad I don't have an external view, but maybe I could do this instead and kind of like catch up with it. It is extending. 
5,000 meters from the ground right now. And I think it's almost fully extended. Wow, this is a lot. Wow, it's still extending. I'm still traveling. This is way cool. Now it's starting to slow down, complete stop almost. Mm, still extending though, according to the spectator cam. But that's, that's really, really cool. Okay, at least I know this idea will definitely work. I just need way more pistons. So let me get on doing this because the last, uh, whatever we just built, I took about an hour plus just to build it. So it's gonna take me a while just to get it at least to the moon. And I need to figure out the distance so I know how many pistons I kind of should be making. So let's do this. All right, guys, I think uh, we officially done it. Uh, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach the moon, but I definitely broke the atmosphere and the game is getting really, really slow. Keep in mind, I do have a Ryzen uh, 3800X plus 32 gigs of RAM and it's still running very slow. Um, I had to up the PCU to max and every time when I paste a new, I think about 300 of these things, uh, it takes forever to load and this is where my limit is kind of at I think so We're just gonna test it from here to see how close we can get to the moon this time compared to what we were talking about getting to the moon and I'm at 18,000 so if I was to extend I would actually get about three times that much so about 56,000 somewhat 54,000 so that's nowhere near the moon that's actually halfway to the moon because to get to the moon is about 110 uh, kilometers and yeah we're not gonna hit that anyway uh, since we're in this uh, we're just gonna try it and see how fast we're gonna go so if you guys have a butt ton of time let's see if this is all pistons right I got this all selected uh, I think so. So we'll just call this a uh, piston one. Save. And in piston one, I'm gonna keep the velocity at 0 0.5 and I am gonna extend this in a second. Are you guys ready? Let me grab this as a group, put this into my bar, and let's see how fast we will get to halfway to the moon. All right, let's go. Oh my God, the game is so slow. It lagged a little bit. It's speeding up 40. Now it's up to uh, 50. It's still extended. It's going up to 60. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit way past 100. Because uh, the last time we tested with only, what, 300 pistons, we were able to get 130 or something like that. So at this rate, um, minus the lag, we should be able to hit over 100. Yeah, I can't do any external view right now. Maybe I could do, um, if I don't break the system, um, spectator view. I'm at 101. Spectator view is just as laggy. I'm at 104 speed. And it's still going. 107, 108, 110. Get back into the cockpit. I feel like we could do a lot faster. I'm relatively comfortable right now and I don't feel like, I mean, it's gonna be a while for us to extend all the way. So I feel like we could definitely go a little bit faster. Let's see if we could change this mid-flight. Uh, let's go to piston and let's change this to double the speed. One, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, I felt that burst of acceleration. Look, I'm at 160, 170. Traveling pretty quick, and we only covered uh, 1,000 meters, so we need to go a lot faster to cover more distance in a shorter time. So let's see how fast we can go. All right, let's uh, go to a piston, and let's change this to what is it? Let's change it to three. Whoa. It seemed to max out somehow at 200 and it doesn't want to go anymore. It's, as a matter of fact, we're actually losing speed. So let's change it back down to 1.5. Okay, uh, we're losing speed. Did something break? No, it's still extending. Okay, now it's increasing speed again, in a sense. You know what it is? I think it's bouncing up and down. 
and sometimes we are getting more speed sometimes we are not or it's going to take some time to actually meet meet our maximum distance which should be around like 54 56 meters 54 56 thousand meters and at this rate we are definitely not going to reach the moon but it proves to show that if you guys have a lot of time in your hands and a lot of cpu power you probably can reach the moon using just pistons And as you can see, we are much closer to the moon than we are, uh, at least a quarter of the way, or one third of the way, because it, from Earth to the moon is about 120 kilometers. And I think we're about like 50-ish or halfway at least, and you can see it's much closer. So I really don't consider this as a failed experiment, you could say, because it does work. And look at this, I managed to get every <laughs> so far from the planet just with pistons and everything. Yeah, that's basically about it. I could even see like, the stuff that is on the planet and you could actually see where the ice is and all that stuff unfortunately we didn't make it but i know we can anyway if you guys like this type of experiment let me know down in the comments below i will make more videos like this and yeah thanks for watching